La la la, do do do. Curly is in the park. Magic in the city. Over the rainbow at the end of the street is Jubilee Park, where the fairies meet. Away from traffic in the neon scene, doing the matching, keeping it green. Fairies, elves, goblins too. You can't see us, but we see you. So watch your step with your person feet. Over the rainbow at the end of the street. Now twinkle, now sparkle, now give me a shine. Afternoon. Totally huge, totally freaky. It was trying to munch on me, man. Mate, you're pulling my wing. <laughs> it was a bad dream, Mommy. A scary dream. <laughs> uh oh, look over there. <laughs> it is a nightmare. And now it's heading right for the baby person. I'm on it. Oh, no, the baby person's seen Jasper. It's all right, Opal. Fairy rule number one, subsection A. Baby persons are permitted to see fairies. They can't talk. Well, Jasper better make sure she doesn't fall asleep or that nightmare will scare her. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, Precious? Come on, let's get you home for your nap. Phew. Oh, close call. Top work, Jasper. It still doesn't explain. Memo to Fairy HQ. Why, Nightmare Jasper. escaped. Vicinity Jubilee Park requesting backup. My Bugberry. Hi, Astrid. Head Dream Fairy. Pearly? Yes. Hi, Astrid. We just saw the nightmare. I know. It's bad. Normally, persons go to bed and we dream fairies say sweet dreams in their ears and wave our wands. They fall asleep and have a nice dream. That's what I always heard. Me too. But do you think small persons go to bed on time? Every night we're waiting on bedheads and side tables. The odd nightmare slips through. It just jumped me while I was having a nap. Don't go near it. Remember, it feeds on fear. The more frightened you are of it, the nastier it gets. Here you go. Use it to call me the minute you see it again. I'll catch it, and then we'll do lunch. Yeah? No, you want toothache, not my department. Gotta fly! Man, that was one stressed out fairy. We have to trap that nightmare before it scares everyone in the park. <laughs> oh, mistress, it was huge and horrible with big yellow teeth. A relative of yours? No, no, no. I had a nightmare. <laughs> That's what you get for napping on a full stomach. But, mistress... <gasps> <laughs> Ooh, is that your nightmare? Angry little fellow. Ludwig, find a box and catch it. M me, mistress? No, we'll wait for the tooth fairy. Yes, of course, you bat brain. If we can capture him, he'll make a very useful pet. In fact, we'll take him over to Pearlie's tonight and they can get to know each other. <laughs> Okay, all right. <laughs> Sweet dreams, cousin dearest. <laughs> oh, my wing. Okay, you know what to do. I'll go to sleep before anyone in the park. If the nightmare is still out there, he'll come and find me. Then you both jump out and... I'll catch it with my lasso. And in the cage it goes, dude. Then we bug Barry Astrid to come and get it. Got it? Uh-huh. Jasper, think you can stay awake? 
Oh? We'll get it, Pearly. You can count on us. I just hope the nightmare comes this way. <laughs> the nightmare is getting restless. It feels the night coming on. Excellent. This should scare perfectly pink Pearly out of her tiny wits. <laughs> Contraption, then I'll tell you. No problem. <sighs> Dear cousin, I came to warn you that there's a dreadful nightmare on the loose. It woke Ludwig, and then we saw it heading this way. Gee, thanks, Sapphira. Well, if it was here, it's gone now. Roots and twigs, not the baby ducks. Come on, crew. <laughs> Mistress, there's someone inside. It must be one of those bugberries the city career fairies carry. Give me that! Hello, who is this? Well, of course we'll let you know when we see it, Astrid. I promise you'll be the first to know. That's one call I won't be making. That nightmare's still got work to do around here. <laughs> <laughs> My poor darlings will never get to sleep now. Don't worry, Mother Duck. I'll find that nightmare and get rid of it for good. Have some fairy dust to help them sleep. Uh-oh. That's one unhappy nightmare, dude. Don't let it see that you're scared. It only makes it bigger. <laughs> That's easy for you to say, man. I'll call Astrid straight away. Uh-oh. The bugberry. I left it in my shell. Pearly, we've got to capture that thing before it escapes into the city. Wait, Opal. If the nightmare gets bigger as it feeds on our fear, maybe if we show we're not scared, it'll get smaller. Worth a try. What? <laughs> no way, Jose. Th that thing's totally scary. Well, I'm not scared. I'm going to pay that nightmare a visit. And I'll find the bugberry so we can call Astrid. And I'm staying right here where I am, dudes. <laughs> oh, no! My, my, my. When Pearly's swallowed up by that creature and I'm in charge of the party, do remind me to put up a statue of her. That'll never happen, Sapphira! No, no, you're right. A memorial birdbath is much more practical. Oh, no! <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello, Astrid. No, I'm afraid Pearlie's rather busy right now. No, we haven't seen it yet. But I'll call you the moment we do. Promise. <laughs> oh, Buckberry, I looked everywhere. What's she doing here? I'm enjoying the show. Popcorn. Whoa! Oh, check out Pearlie. We, we gotta help her. Dude, why? Come on. I'm not scared of you, you know? Yes, that's right. I think you're nothing but a little itty-bitty bad dream, and I can make you go away just by having happy thoughts. <laughs> la la la, pink flowers, dewdrops, lovely sunny day. No, no, get back. He knows you're frightened. You're making it bigger. Oh. Butterflies, honeybees, cherry blossoms. Jasper, Opal, think happy thoughts. Uh, sunsets, uh, rainbows, cactus flowers, lassoes, ah, uh, lasso. Uh, happy, happy, joy, joy. Uh, rose petal muffins, gnarly waves, surfing. Awesome. La la la. Do, do, do. Here, nightmare. Here, little one. 
Welcome to Pearly. Maybe you'd like to be a beautiful daydream? Ever thought of that? Oh. Cool. Oh, mistress, such courage. Pearly's much braver than me. I am the very essence of a scaredy bird. Here, take this. And call for your mommy next time you have a widow bad dream. Thank you, mistress. I shall indeed. Hello? Yeah? No, not my department. Wow. Good job, Pearly. Thanks, Astrid. I think someone here wants to be a daydream. Do mm. you think you can help him out? Hmm, I do have a couple of openings. I'll book it in for a slow Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Voila, another fire put out. Good working with you. That reminds me, my bugberry. Who's got it? I spoke to your assistant earlier. Assistant? Hmm. Hardly. Well, there's one way to find it. Oh, my. Ooh. Oh, bad bat. Hand that over to dear Astrid right this instant. But, oh, here it is, Excellency. Home now. Ouch! You must be punished. Yes, mistress. Ciao, Pearly. Sweet dreams, Astrid. Sweet dreams, mistress. No nightmares. Think happy thoughts. Hurry, hoots and twigs, stars and moonbeams. La do do do. Mistress? Snakes! In my hot tub! Uh, uh, hey, Sapphira. I'm loving the soak. Ew, elf hair. I'd rather have snakes. What's the grotty elf doing here? Pearly gave me an all-day spa pass. <laughs> Isn't that just grand? Check you later, dude. <sighs> the mistress is not a dude. Gotcha. Later, dudette. Gobsmack. Excuse me. Ma! I want that elf out of here. Ship him to the North Pole, inside a block of ice. Yeah, well, I can't do that. You know, postage costs, you understand? But perhaps, hmm, it's not exactly the North Pole, but I do have the authority to send him somewhere on a two-week work exchange. <laughs> I wanted something permanent, but it's a good start. Let's see how he gets on without his precious pearly watching over him every minute of the night and day. Just keep kicking. Oh, you're doing so well. Pearly, Opal, I'm gonna travel the world. Sure you are, Jasper. We all will someday. No, I am totally out of here right now. The Elf Subcommittee on Personal Betterment is sending me on a work exchange. What? Right now? Where? I hope it's not somewhere too cold. Or hot. Or windy. You're allergic to dragon dander. Are there dragons where you're going? I didn't ask. You two don't think I can look after myself, do you? No, no, no. We just, uh, well, we worry about you because you're our best pal, Jasper. Yeah. And you're scared of loud noises. And the color fuchsia. And pudding. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm like... A grown-up elf, you know. I can totally look after myself. Oh, Jasper, don't get upset. We just... You just treat me like a baby. I'll show you. I'm gonna travel across oceans and deserts and see foreign lands and have adventures and eat pudding. And I'm leaving right this minute. Did you remember your toothbrush? I'm going home to get my toothbrush, and then I'm leaving. I'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Bye, Jasper. I reckon he'll be all right. He'll be just fine. I wonder who they're gonna send us in exchange. Hello, I'm Norville.
You're a gnome. Yeah, well, of course he is. Norville here will be doing Jasper's job for the next two weeks. Welcome to Jubilee Park, Norville. Whoa! Oh, sorry. He's a bit of an oaf. He's quite oafish. Try to keep him from doing too much damage. I'm sure he'll be just fine. <laughs> just keep kicking. Oh, you're doing so well. Good swimming, little ducks. I'm too big and clumsy for all this tiny fairy stuff. You're not. You just move too fast. Try taking it slow and gentle. <laughs> oh, I'm homesick. Poor Norville. So far from home. Oh, I'm not far from home. I just live a block away from here. I thought Jasper was traveling the world and he's just around the corner? It's a quiet little porch, shady in the afternoon. The moths visit every night and the cat stays indoors. Cat? Jasper didn't mention a cat. They can be pretty dangerous. Maybe I should... Uh, he won't like you checking up on him. I'm not. I'm bringing him some muffins, that's all. Hmm. Huh. A pussy cat. Ooh, let's just see how the elf's getting on, shall we? A cat? Mistress, all that fur, those fangs, those claws. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Yoo-hoo! Jasper? Hey, what's up, Burly? Did you know there's a cat here? Fluffy? Sure. <laughs> he stays inside, and the person's never come out either. Unless someone rings the ding-dong, so it's all pretty safe. Hey! You're checking up on me, aren't you? You have, like, zero confidence in me! No, no, no! Uh, muffins? <laughs> awesome! So, you like it here? It's not as much fun as the park. It's really small, like, there's nothing to do. I sweep up a bit by day, and at night, the moths come. <laughs> they keep me up all night. <sighs> I totally miss you guys. And we totally miss you, Jasper. But we'll have you back in just two weeks. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about me, Pearly. I'm cool. I know you are, Jasper. Well, I better get back. Take care. Later, dude. <sighs> Nap time. Ah! <laughs> Did you see the cat, Ludwig? Oh, yes. All nasty teeth and razor-sharp claws. Oh, horrible. Right. And now you are going to let him out. Ah! <laughs> must I, mistress? Of course you must. Fluffy chases Jasper. We ring the ding-dong. The person inside comes out, sees Jasper, and hey, presto! One very angry gobsmack and one refrigerated elf. Now go over there and unlatch that door. No! To a cat, I am just a mouse with wings. Oh, don't make me. No, no, no. Please, I beg you. You sniveling worm. Go on home. You're not used to me here. Fire up the hot tub. I'll be there shortly. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Scared of a cat. <laughs> yes. Hello, kitty. The one you want to go after is sleeping over there. See the nasty, hairy elf? You are free, my pretty. There he is. Get him. I didn't need help. I had that beast under control. Sure you did. How'd that cat get out? And what are you doing here? Me? Oh, I... I, I was just, uh... Look out! <laughs> I am a despicable coward. I should never have left Mistress alone. No, no, no. I hope she is all right.
How can you loll about like that when a monster cat's got my wand? We've got to get out of here. We just wait till he goes away, and then we can get it back. I'm not sitting here for hours. The place smells like bird. No problemo. I've got an awesome plan B. Tell Pearly we've got a situation. Cat, birdhouse, pass it on. Oh, you've got to be kidding. That's your awesome plan B? Wonderful. I'm trapped in a birdhouse with a lunatic. Wonderful, Norville. I knew you could do it. Hello. Um, your friend Jasper. The cats trapped him in a birdhouse. Hurley, Burley, thank you so much. Come on. <gasps> I feel a sudden unease tinged with dread. My mistress is in danger. I'm coming. Ludi is coming. Um... Is this plan C to bore me to death? No. I'm trying to put him to sleep. Watch. Um... Mistress, I'm coming! Ludwig will save you! <laughs> Pearly, Opal! <laughs> you got my message! We sure did. Thanks to Norville. All right, Norville! Crikey, she's gonna see them. Mercy, I was wondering where you'd gotten to. There you are, Fluffy, you rascal. I chased a cat, a real cat. I am fearless. <laughs> uh, can we trade our jobs back now? I can't sleep at night without the lovely drone of moths. Deal, gnome dude. I've had enough adventure for a while. I guess I'm really not up to looking after myself. Ugh. Jasper, you escaped from the cat and you saved Sapphira. I think you did pretty well. Yeah, I did, didn't I? I rock! Uh, don't you have something to say to our Jasper? Thank you. You are so welcome, dude. Glad to help. Back off, you fool. I've been elf-handled quite enough today. And how many times do I have to tell you I am not a dude? Sure, dudette. <laughs> <laughs>